ever since I was a little kid, I always wanted to write a book. And then I got here to college and a friend of mine actually inspired me uh, to put that idea into practice. About a year or two ago, I was visiting with somebody who, ha who had actually written a book before. And I was kind of asking their advice, you know, what do I need to do to make that happen in my own life? And he kind of gave me, you know, a more practical route to go. He, he suggested I, uh, I do a lot of the blogging things. He said that's a much more convenient way to get a message out there. And uh, in all honesty, that kind of upset me a little bit because it was a lifelong dream of mine to write a book. And I know that probably from his perspective, he probably didn't mean it. He probably wasn't trying to shut down my, my lifelong ambitions or anything. But for me, it was kind of like, well, you can't do this because you're not successful. You're not well known and it's really hard to do it if you don't have the experience. And, that, and that's kind of how I felt inside when he told that to me. So anyway, I, it was kind of my goal from that point on to set out to uh, do what he said was impossible. And I think for me, I've proven that by uh, you know, not letting what other people said bother me and instead choosing to go for my dreams. And you know, I can attest that anybody who has, a, who has a dream, whatever it is, you can do it. And you don't need money and you don't need experience. If you have a goal, just go for it. And somehow doors will open and you'll be able to achieve those things. The biggest advice I could give to somebody who has a dream or has a goal is first of all, when I started this project, I had a lot of self-doubt kind of thoughts. You know, I had a lot of thoughts creep in telling me, you know, like, who's gonna read this book? Why should I even do this? It's all been said before hundreds of times by many other authors, you know, What's the point in even doing this? No one's gonna read it. Those thoughts, don't let that discourage you from doing it. Because as a good friend told me once, yeah, it may have been said before, but it hasn't been said by you. And everybody has their own creative twist and their own life experiences to put into a project, which makes it unique from anything else that's ever been done before. And so I would say, don't, don't give in to those feelings of self-doubt. Just, just okay, acknowledge, maybe acknowledge that and use it as a starting point, but then use that to um, improve your idea and strengthen it. What you gotta keep in mind is that everyone's a critic. What's important is, are you happy with it? Bottom line is you want the project that you're working on to be you. Basically, the book is me telling different life lessons that I've learned and uh, giving readers tips on how they can improve themselves in different aspects of their lives. Just don't ever tell yourself that it can't be done because it can, and I'm living proof of that. I mean, if I can write a book, anyone can. If I can accomplish my dreams, anybody can, and it's as simple as that.